hello coders i hope you are coding well in the previous video we created login api with jwt in our spring boot application and in today's video we will create user details service which will return user details and after this we will test our login api so let's get started so in our spring boot application as you know we initialize this user details with null and now we will get these details from our database and to do this we need to create a new service so let's right click on our services package and let's choose new package and after this we need to remove this auth package because we want to create a new package in the services package and after this we will name this new package as jwt and after this let's right click on this jwt package and let's choose new java class and we will name this class as user service and from the options we will select interface after this let's right click again on the jwt package and let's choose new java class and we will name this class as user service implementation and after this we will annotate this with at the rate service annotation and after the service annotation we will add the annotation for required aux constructor from lombok and after this we will write implements and we will mention user service and now we need to inject user repository so we will write private final and after this we will mention user repository and we will name this as user repository and after this in this class we need to write a new method and this method will return user details service and we will import it from core dot user details and we will name this method as user details and in the body of this method we will write return statement and we will return new user details service and we will import it from core dot user details and this will give us a method load user by username and after this we need to write the implementation so instead of returning null we will use our user repository and after this we will call find first by email method and in the params we need to pass the email so we will pass username and after this we need to check the availability of our user and to do this we will write or else throw statement and in this we will throw an exception so let's write an arrow function for that and after this we will mention new user name not found exception and for the message we will pass user not found and after this let's write a semicolon here and with this our method is completed in user service implementation now let's copy this and let's open our user service and let's mention it here and after this we need to call this method in auth controller so let's open our auth controller and in this class first of all we need to inject user service so after the jwt util let's write private final and we will mention user service and we will import it from services dot jwt and after this we will name it as user service and after this let's go back to our create authentication token method and here we need to remove this null and we will use our user service and we will call user details service and after this we need to call the method load user by user name and in this we need to pass the user email and we can get this email from our authentication request so we will mention authentication request dot get email and after this we need to create a bean for authentication provider in our web security configuration so let's open our web security configuration and in this we will create a new method which should be public and this will return authentication provider and we will import it from security dot authentication and after this we will name this as authentication provider and in the body we need to use our user service so let's inject that here and we will write private final and after this we will mention user service and we will import it from services dot jwt and we will name this as user service and after this in the body of this authentication provider first of all we need to create dao authentication provider so let's write dao authentication provider and we will import it from authentication dot dao 
and we will name this as auth provider and after this we need to initialize it with new DAO authentication provider and after this we need to set user details service and password encoder in this auth provider so we will write auth provider dot set user details service and in the params we need to pass user details service so we will use our user service and we will call dot user details service and after this we need to pass the password encoder so we will write auth provider dot set password encoder and in the params we will pass new bcrypt password encoder and after this we will write return statement and we will return auth provider and at the end we will annotate this with bean annotation and with this our login api is completed now let's run our application and as you can see our application is up on port 8080 without any errors now let's go to the postman and let's test our login api and in the postman from the request types we need to select post and after this we need to give the url which should be localhost 8080 and after this we need to give the controller url which should be slash api slash auth and then we need to give the endpoint url which is slash login and after this we will open body and from the options we need to select raw and then from here we need to select json and in the request body first of all we need to pass the email and for the email let's pass root at the rate gmail.com and after the email we need to pass the password and let's give it as admin and after this we will click on this send button to call the api and as you can see we got status 200 ok and in the response body we got jwt user id and user role and after this let's update our password and let's give a wrong password and then we will click on this send button again and as you can see this time we got 403 forbidden and that's it for today's video in the next video we will create login page in our angular application and we will call this login api